Welcome back, back to, to Out, Out of Controllers. Controllers. Okay. Right. So, also, what we were just talking about light. Look at this. You know exactly where the hell you are when you walk into the forest. Mm -hmm. And then everywhere else is like, nope, don't know where the hell I am. Yeah. But also, I thought about it a little bit more during our little break. And I was like, shit, that also really fits in like a, like, it makes the world really big. Yeah. Because it makes you get lost in it. And you have to like, look at everything. Yeah. Um, and look, they're back. Oh, yay! Yeah, the little... yeah, yeah, yeah. My husband came back. He said you gave him my pendant. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. He told me all about it. He seems to gotten into some trouble in the city. And he told her everything. Oh, that's so good! <laughs> but I don't blame him. I'm glad to know he trusts me enough to tell me everything. Besides, I'm just overjoyed he came home safely. Oh. Oh, please accept this as a token of our thanks. Good Bazam. communication between got... partners is important. It really is. Also, shampoo. Who are we going to wash? Um, well, we could probably give it to either Shella or Cal. Liz, it's but... a combat item? Yeah. Do you put shampoo in the enemy's eyes and it stings them and hurts them? I don't know. Does it hurt them? Well, we have to look. Uh, blended with moisturizer for dry, damaged hair. Try it for two weeks. Your hair won't be able to thank you enough. It'll be shiny and healthy. It's uh, an attack. It's a defense item. You can use it as a 1% chance to cure paralysis, and you can defend against paralysis with plus 20 paralysis defense. Uh, fine. <laughs> Going into the deck. Uh, well, all right. I what won't if she needs question. to shampoo her hair? I don't think that's really going to be much of a concern. Well. Ugh. You just don't like that absolutely anything becomes a combat item. It's great. I really don't. I mean, it's I don't so mind good. it when it makes sense. Oh, you're going to get mad at everything else that comes after this, aren't you? <laughs> probably. All right, I should probably buy some more Safe leaf crackers. Safety hood. I love it. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Oh, and like, and if you use certain Magnuses in certain combos in combat, they make new items. It's great. Really? Like what? Um, I don't remember what you have to use with bamboo, but, like, you can use something with bamboo to make a fishing pole. Nice. Yeah. It's just, like, ra little odd combinations that made this game, like, fucking intriguing. See, yeah, like, that's just, that's a good oh, no. way to use the mechanic, I think. I want, I want the milk. You can't have it. I want the milk. You can't have it. I want the that's milk. That's shit. Wow. You can't have milk. I want. Yes. Okay. Give me that milk. Give it to me. But, yeah, like... For all that I complain about the combat mechanic, like, it's actually a really... They, they handle it well, and it's very intriguing. Yeah, and, like, and like for me, the story was also really, like, it drew me in in addition to... And, and, like, sort of the fact that their item system is so, like, bizarre and interesting carries through the parts where, you like, you have to go through a long period without getting more, like, big plot stuff. Yeah. And I, like, that, this game is interesting, and I think that works really well for it. And, like, honestly, all I have of the plot right now is that um, we have uh, Mahi Tuna as our best friend. Uh, we're trying to kill Gilmore del Toro, uh, and Mercutio is an evil god. So... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> of the names, you're not really wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, wait, what other side quests are there? And I know I'm getting the names wrong. I'm just making fun of the I names. I know. It's I great. like, like, here's my thing is in video games, I make fun of the characters' names a lot mm -hmm. because, you do. one, I'm really bad at names. I'm good at, like, sound associations, but otherwise I'm bad at names. And so it's a way for me to, like, kind of work through, um... Like, it's, it's a way for me to, like, input something where it's like, I know who this person is, but I can't remember their name, but it sounds kind of similar, so you sort of know who I'm talking about. Nice. And so it's a coping mechanism for All me. All right, yes, I have to give this girl. Okay. Um, the unhappy looking man beside me is my daddy. He's been really feeling, he's been feeling really down lately. Oh, no. Anyway, forget about daddy. They say you can find bluebirds of oh happiness my God, somewhere right. on this island. I'd really love to have one. If you find one, please promise to bring a the birdie to me, will you? Okay? Okay, please? it'll be dead, though. Uh, yeah. Here's the dead bird. <laughs> Here, kid, Goodness. have disease. You brought me a bluebird of happiness? Wow! This is great! Thank you so much. Tee, I've always wanted, I've wanted one of these for a long, long time. All of, like, two months. <laughs> I'm four <laughs> years old. <laughs> Tell me if there's something I can do for you in return. 
Yeah, it's called, could you sign this? <laughs> you want me to go back to Grandpa's house? Okay, so I should write my name on the family tree, then? Yes, that is exactly what's gotta happen. Uh, Ugh. Ru I... uh, Rushed. Woo, she mm. is uh, six years old. A curious little girl who believes in the bluebirds of happiness. I'll also, sorry audience, I have to pause and I look at the TV and like we're at a wrong angle for looking at this in a way that is legible. Also, red does not do well. No, it's... From the way we're, we're looking at it. It's also just a really bad color to be writing in. It's not great. Um, and so I have to like look down at the screen we're recording on. Yeah, like darker colors when oh, you're writing are better. Yeah. And like they, they make it a weird like vibrant around the edges which make yeah. it just look very hard. Ugh. Um, but yeah, so the other thing about making fun of characters' names in media is, um, I don't, I don't make fun of them exactly, but, like, the other thing about it is that, um, is that I'm not making fun of them, and it's a very deliberate thing uh, a lot of the time. Yeah, and it makes it more in your head. Yeah, and they're also, like, mythical characters, which means that I don't feel bad about getting their names wrong, whereas I feel horrible when I get real people's names wrong, because, like, that is actually a microaggression. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, no. You're being mean. Why won't you show me the family tree thingy? I was so lonely. <laughs> Let me see the family tree thingy, and I'll sign it for you. What? Okay. He like, uh, he likes to play with that girl. Oh. And so when she leaves, he's like, uh, no. Okay. Uh, Salem, three years old, male, Quasman's grandson, as mischievous as his grandfather. Shy around others, though. Aw, cute. Mm-hmm. Okay, I can go home now. See ya. Cool. And he just runs away. He's so small. He's very small. Ah! I'm very surprised he doesn't trip because I don't, I don't know how good kids are at motor skills, but I feel like three-year-olds are not stellar. Ah, uh, it depends on the three-year-old. I suppose. So Rush went back, did she? All right, all right. I'm supposed to be going too. This is it then. By the way, I hope that fat slob <laughs> Nubata isn't going to be there. Please don't tell me he's there. Uh, not currently. I don't think. Has he signed the thing? I see. If he's not there, then it's no problem. We simply don't get along too well, that's all. Hand me the family tree and I'll sign it for you, fair and square. So we're gonna have to lie to Nubata when he asks if uh, this guy's there? I don't know if we can. Hmm. Uh, Sabine, 43 years old, male. Quasman's adopted son full of worries lately. Does he take after his, adop his adoptive th father? Hmm. hmm. What a lot of flavor text. It's no big deal for me to go home. It's where I live, after all. <laughs> I'll go back in a little while. Don't worry about me. I'm a man of my word. Nice. Well, let's go see if we can get any... <gasps> oh, I... shit. That guy at the waterfall. Ugh. <laughs> there are so many people who on this island. There There's... are. There are so many people through this whole fucking game who are just related to Quasman. <laughs> I mean, he's an old man, and he evidently had a lot of children, and all of those children evidently had a lot of children of their own, so I'm not fucking surprised. I mean, true. No, I wanted to walk around it. <laughs> it's fine. I'll just beat their butts. Do Wait, it. did we start the timer? Yes, yeah. we did. Okay. Yeah, I'm on top of my shit. I, I'm not, evidently. Yeah, I've noticed. That's why I'm on top of my shit. It's true. You're very good at it. Okay. I really am. Uh, screw combos, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, when they're, like, <sighs> first level monsters, like, it's not a big deal. Although I mean, these guys look hard. They're kind of hard. They just do a lot of weird shit. Like, that, that's not too bad as long as they don't get to attack next. And now I hit, no. Uh, <laughs> eh. Just do a combo. No gonna wait around and use my hat <laughs> for defense. Use your bananas. I only use bananas <laughs> to fight enemies. <gasps> no, they're even healthier than before, <laughs> but they're full of potassium. <laughs> we'll overdose them on potassium. <laughs> I mean, it can happen, right? I mean, you'd have to eat a lot of bananas. Oh, he just exploded. That's Oh, fine. good. So, okay. Yeah. I feel like, is there a thing where, like, so I physically can't eat more than one banana, or I yeah. feel sick. Is that, like, a thing? Uh, it's a thing with a lot of people. Some people are like, I'll slice up two bananas and put them in my sandwich, and they're fine with that. But, like, yeah, typically you just eat one banana. Yeah, like, I just, I, even if I'm not full, I can't eat more than one banana. Mm-hmm. It's weird. Very filling bananas. 
No, I also am not a person who eats bananas, so I can't actually, like, give you a solid I answer. I mean, they're one of the few fruits that I like, and, like, they're pretty low, um... It, it, I don't have to work too hard to eat them, whereas, like, with an apple, I prefer them sliced. Okay. Because I can eat them in smaller, manageable chunks. That is fair. Um, because, like... When I was young, sliced apples were really good. Yeah, and, like, I... I don't mind full apples, but I get to a point where it's like, I can't eat this anymore. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to eat it anymore, but there's still a lot on it, and then I feel bad. So if it's a sliced apple, then I can just kind of take it in little segments. And yeah, that... and you can just, like, bag the rest or whatever. Yeah, exactly. And, like, you could probably bag a full apple, but, like, but that's just I, absurd. I wouldn't eat it again, honestly, if it were, like, yeah. bitten out of. It's it's too much of, the, like, the wasted food item of bad guys in, te in media. Yeah. And so it's like, nah, son, I don't even wanna. Yeah. Wait, will I be able to get this guy? I hate, like, I can vaguely remember getting all these people at some point, mm -hmm. but, like, some of them are literally just, you need to come back later, and later is actually just a measure of game time. Oh, boy. It's so good. All right, well, next time on Out of Controllers, we'll see, uh... The man with the bracelet under a waterfall. Yep, thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.